All right, hi guys. You can probably tell by the box actually, because it's big and orange, and I think there's some writing there you might be able to read. Uh, I had one of these quite a while ago, 200 or 600. And if anybody knows me and you've watched my videos and everything like that, you would have seen lots of videos about the A7R4 uh, having really big issues with this lens and it just wouldn't focus properly. There was lots of problems about it. It was also happening on the A7 IV as well, A7 IV-A, um, but every, everything else seemed to be pretty good. So today I bought another one. Um, I traded in my two times converter, which I've been using with the 100 to 400 G Master. I kept my F1 point, uh, the 1.4 times converter because I thought actually it could be useful and it does work very well actually. Uh, so I've kept that just because it's it's there and it's actually it can be useful. So um, I'm just gonna unbox this really because I've it's a big box and it's orange and it looks cool and uh, I can't even get in it, which is what he says. Um, a couple of things I wish they did with this, with this Sony is put an um, Arca Swiss mount straight on it. Uh, the bag that will never get used. The strap that will probably never get used. Uh, what else we got in here? I can never remember. Actually. And I did a, um, obviously the booklets and stuff that should probably never get used. Anything else? Nope. So we can open up the, the box itself. This had a hundred pounds off it as well, so there's another leaflet of some sort. Yeah, it had a hundred pound off it. And uh, so that was made a little bit more affordable and I obviously traded in the um, two times converter as well. Um, there we go. Uh, yeah, traded in a two times converter as well, and also it had a hundred pounds uh, off it as well. So I think I ended up paying something like fourteen hundred quid. No, less than that. Uh, I don't. Well, I'll have a look at the thing, but it's uh, you know reasonably a good deal with the with the reduction in trading in and stuff like that. And like I say, the two times converter it just sits there and doesn't really do a lot. So um, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, that's that's that. All right, and then we'll go and take some pictures shortly. Let's put that over there. Anyway, this is a bit of a monster of lens. It's not huge, but once you get the hood on, um, it's certainly a big, a big boy. Best thing about this lens is that you can literally that is two hundred to six hundred. That's it. Um, like I say, the only thing that I wish they would do is put an Arca Swiss mount on there for tripods and stuff, but oh, you can buy foot, uh, like a replacement foot very cheaply. Um, you've got, again, all the adjustments there for your uh, stabilization on and off, your modes one, two, and three, uh, your, your sort of limited distance on autofocusing, and um, your autofocus and manual focus switch as well. You can adjust the collar where, where you want that by that, that knob. And obviously you can hang your strap off there if you want, which I won't. But yeah, really cool. It's not massively heavy. It's heavier than the 100 or 400 by quite a lot. But again, it's a lens that you can stick on a tripod and uh, you know, it's internal zoom, which is great. So it allows you, it allows it to be the same size anywhere you take it. Obviously once you take your lens hood off and turn it around the other way, it's not actually that huge. It's still big, but it fits in my bag quite happily, which is great. So I'm going to stick this on the A1 in a minute. Also, I've got, if you saw the last video, if not, go and check it out, a new macro lens as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go around a snap and I kind of had a bit of a drive to the camera shop and came back with two lenses. Oops. But um, good little investments and allows me to do more things, which you know, I'm going to be doing shortly. So. Uh, macro outside, but also in studio with certain jobs I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing, you know, could be doing jewellery and things like that in, and products um, to just detailed stuff that we may need a macro lens. So, but you can also use that for portraiture and other things as well. So it's quite a nice range. Uh, obviously, the 135 G Master I've got, but that obviously just gives you a little bit less 
um, magnification, which is good. So, what well, zoom? Um, it gives you just a slightly different look. So that's just another benefit there. Um, yeah. So back to this one. Basically, I'm just going to go and check it out now while the while the light's still around. There's a few birds flying about, so I shall plonk it on and see how it looks. And hopefully, it works properly, unlike when it did on the A7R4, which was an absolute nightmare. Um, but I don't think there's going to be an issue. Yeah, so anyway, don't forget, click, don't forget to click the subscribe button, little notification bell as well. Check out the photos at the, in the video. Let me know what you think. Have you got this lens? Have you had any problems with it, with different camera bodies at all? Um, because it really wasn't ever, ever verified by Sony that it was either a lens bring problem. It was more definitely the camera just didn't look like it. With the A1, it doesn't seem to be an issue apparently. Um, or the a7r3 never was really an issue it just seemed to be the a7r4 and i think it's something to do with the resolution it's just too much for this lens and the way the autofocus works and, and all that sort of stuff so um we did get it working okay um tried multiple lenses and the story is the story is huge and it goes on forever but um you know it it was a shame because i sold that lens and i kind of wish i hadn't in some respects and obviously now i've got the a1 so it was time it was time to buy another one um, there was loads of other options of lenses out there and I just thought, you know what, the, the one that is the best is this one for, except for the money, you know. Um, obviously I would love something like a, a 600 f4 or even the 400 f2.8 would have been nice, but they're mega money. Um, and kind of like, not limited, but obviously you have no mag like zoom differences. So if you do want to back out, you can back out. So, you know, that's one benefit of this lens and it's obviously a little bit more portable as well. And also doesn't cost something like 12 grand. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, 10 times the value, but I'm sure it is worth every penny if you can afford to um, put the money there. So anyway, um, I'm going to go play with this. I shall catch you later and uh, go check out my other videos and um, I'll see you soon. So here's a little bit of a test um, with Tommy here. I autofocus him trotting towards me, 15 frames a second, something like that. Um, worked really well. No drama at all. Planes, flying. Um, no cropping or anything like that, but these are 12 megapixel JPEGs, basically. Um, I set the camera to take some JPEGs just so I didn't have to process them uh, whilst in these videos. But it, you know, they're, as you can see, they're still sharp, still good. This one was quite cool. Plane came over lower than normal. And, uh, you know, you can read the number plate there on its wing quite happily and just worked really, really well. So yeah, fantastic lens, and I'm going to go back out with it tomorrow because the weather's supposed to be quite good. So expect to see another video. Uh, Tommy there, just a portrait shot, working lovely, really sharp lens with really nice bokeh actually from it naturally. So yeah, very, very pleased. Um, there's a plane again. And yeah, so well worth um, getting one if you can afford one and you're looking for a big zoom lens. Obviously I am hand holding this, that's why it's a bit jerky and that's the stabilization counteracting my movements there. Uh, obviously you could use it on a tripod, get much smoother footage, but I really love how you can on sensor crop, you know, zoom in, which really does make a difference, especially things like this for video anyway. So I utilize it quite a lot, especially like on the 135G Master, for example, I might use it. Obviously on here, this lens, really handy to get a little bit closer to the moon, especially on video. So just another thing there. <clears throat> Pheasants, funny things. He was ducked down in the grass. <laughs> 